Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sophie Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and let's get into another week in my life. Hey guys, today is Monday. Me and my sister are actually about to head to the gym. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was not really trying to go to the gym this morning, but Danielle here um, said she was going anyway, so I was like, all right, let me go ahead and do what I gotta do, you feel me? And then look at this. I have on my freaking calendar, gym, 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 gym. But I don't be in the mood. But anyways, yeah, we're about to head to the gym. Nipsey is not going. But I know this thing here is popular on Instagram, so I want to show you guys. Um, this is the J Sculpt belt. Oh, y'all, please excuse my background, child. I need to clean my room. But this is a J Sculpt belt, and um, a lot of people use it. It's really popular on Instagram. The J Jasmine, who is the owner of it, she has a really great body. And I thought maybe you guys might want to see it on someone larger because well actually on her instagram she shows people of all sizes in them but we'll see how uh tight this little thing here gets once i actually start losing weight because right now i'm gonna tell you it took a while for me to get it on okay because it's a little tight but I, you know obviously as you lose weight it'll get more comfortable and feel more uh better to put on but anyways we're gonna head to the little gym or whatever um Hey y'all, so I had to get on camera because I didn't even know that I was going to snap like this on my face. Because, well, it's crazy. I just got done filming a, um, uh, my signature bun tutorial, which will already be up on my channel. Make sure you guys check it out. It'll be right here on the screen. But, um, before I did my hair, I did my makeup and my makeup to me was looking crazy. I was like, Ooh, what the world? I was literally about to like wash all of it off and just start over but then after i did my hair for some kind of reason it all came together this is about to be my new look first off i've never ever um worn a heavier lash like i have on right now that's never been my thing um these are like the heavier lashes that all the girls are wearing nowadays i like to do like more of a wispy natural eyelash but i tried these out because somebody sent them to me and the lash with the like i guess kind of brown golden eye with this new lip like this is about to be my go-to you can't tell me nothing purr <laughs> anyways y'all i just had to show y'all this b oh man i'm about to become a makeup artist but make sure you guys check out that bun tutorial that i just did on my channel like i said but yeah today is tuesday and um i'm also in the midst of filming a a daily vlog like a productive day in my life or something like that i don't know what it's gonna be but it'll be up on my channel soon too right now i am about to um go downstairs and make something to eat it's about three o'clock almost four o'clock and i've had nothing but an iced coffee um i'm currently eating some pineapples um but i wanted to show y'all i made up my bed you know simple and nice or whatever but yeah my sister came to my room last night and told me that my closet looks so organized i was like it does does it i mean I don't have a big closet or whatever, but I do try to utilize the space that I do have. Um, this is a quick, I don't know, just what I want. It's a quick message to anyone watching this who may be in the same situation I'm in. Um, sometimes I feel a little embarrassed or ashamed that I still live at home with my mom, being that I'm 24. But sometimes you just have to be thankful that you do have a home. I do plan on moving out, but if you guys have been watching my previous videos, you guys know since graduating college, um, I have had a tough time trying to find a job in my field. So until I can start my career in media or, I don't know, maybe my YouTube channel picks up, subscribe to my channel. Um... <laughs> I'll just be here until I can afford to move out. I'm going to be here. And that's why I always try to, that's why I'm always kind of like rearranging my room or just trying to make best of the space that I do have so I can create as much content as I can within like the space that I have. But yeah, I don't know where that came from. That's just 
all over the place. But anyways, yeah, I'm about to go downstairs to make something to eat. Um, and yeah, I'll holla at y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm in the midst of cooking uh, my dinner or whatever, but I wanted to show you guys because I know they're pretty popular on YouTube or wherever. I got the Health Aid Kombucha, the pomegranate flavored one, and I've had kombucha before. Um, it's really good for your gut health and your stomach and just good for you, I think, in general because it does have apple cider vinegar in it. And it's really weird because you for sure can taste the apple cider vinegar and don't nobody like to taste the apple cider vinegar. But I don't know, it's like a very distinct flavor and this is my first time trying the pomegranate flavor and I really like it. Um, like almost like I'm having a taste for it. Like I didn't, haven't drank this in a while and I like have a taste for it. It's really weird, but yeah, I know a lot of people don't like kombucha because of the apple cider vinegar but the flavor ones are not bad and then it's kind of like um i don't want to say like carbonated water but it's similar to soda so if you like soda you might like this but y'all know i've been on my little health kick or whatever so slowly trying to change my eating habits so that was one tip i wanted to show you guys but yeah i'm just cooking up some dinner um and i'll show you guys i guess in a second I just got done talking to the camera for 10 minutes. It wasn't even recording. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys my, I don't know what this is, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because I haven't eaten all day and it's five o'clock, but this is what I made. Just some chicken quesadillas uh, with pico de gallo, some guacamole, sour cream, and steamed broccoli. I'm trying to incorporate like vegetables into every meal. Um, because I really could have just ate these quesadillas with the sides, the condiments, but I wanted to incorporate the broccoli. Um, but yeah, I'm about to eat and watch somebody's YouTube video, child. I am so hungry. My knee hurt. Anyways, I'm about to eat and I will talk to you guys later. Y'all, I'm so excited because I just placed my order last night for my Sephora stuff. Y'all know they got a little sale, a little B.I.B. or whatever sale and i got my little 10 percent off because i'm just a, um just a regular beauty insider because i don't shop there that often but anyways yeah i placed my order last night i'm so excited and i'm gonna do a sephora haul so be on the lookout for that but yeah today is wednesday what's today oh today is not wednesday today is thursday oh we my life is just passing on by Y'all hate cars with the loud mufflers. Like, what's the point? And then you be making all that noise and going slow. You ain't even going fast. Anyways, I came on here to tell you guys today is Thursday. And guess what? The girl finna get shotted up. I'm about to go take the COVID vaccine. Child, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little apprehensive because I saw the other day that the um, Johnson & Johnson brand of the vaccine has been causing blood clots i'm like oh uh-uh and so my mom was like that's not the one we're taking i said i didn't know the vaccine had brands so what they got the target version and then the great value version of it what is going on so my doctor is giving it out i am a little apprehensive but then again i mean like it's just better to be safe than sorry. Of course, this isn't a cure for COVID. I don't have COVID, not that I know of. But it's good to be safe. I mean, my mom is older. Um, I do be in the public a little bit. So just to help protect me and, you know, people around me or just doing my little part in the little COVID thing, child. I'd be glad when this thing is over because I am sick of wearing these masks. Let's see how I react to it. Hopefully, I will be good. So. All right, that was pretty quick. That's right, not so simple. How do you feel? Oh, well, I'm feeling like I've, I've helped to resolve a major problem in America that I feel like we're going to eventually go back to normality. I hope so. So we'll be able to take these masks off. It's really taking away my oxygen that I really need. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so me and my mom just got done taking the shot, the COVID uh, vaccine, the first round, and 
so far so good we had to wait uh 15 to 20 minutes to make sure like there wasn't any immediate side effects so far both of us feel fine so i'm just and i'm telling y'all i was super duper reluctant to get this vaccine just because like I don't know what's in it. I, I feel fine. I try to do a pretty good job of keeping my immune system up. Like, I rarely get sick. But like I said, I'm just doing my part. So I guess I'll just give a piece of advice to anyone watching this who are young. Because I know that's who's like... um apprehensive to taking the vaccine as young people so if y'all watching this and y'all are thinking about it just go get it child and not the other one we got the moderma version of the vaccine don't get the uh johnson and john johnson we got the moderma which is it has no side effects it's a 95 percent chance of um help protect against the that covid but anyways y'all go get a shot help your mama help your grandma or grandparents your local neighbors so hopefully America can get back to normality because I'm tired of wearing these masks on me. Okay. After officer is heard shouting taser taser on the body camera footage after firing the, her handgun she gets inside her police car and, and can be heard saying holy shit I shot him so what but how do you not realize what is in your if I'm these folks just be so ready and anxious to shoot somebody I ain't never shoot nobody white there is no excuse and she isn't capable of knowing where her weapons are she isn't capable of being a police officer exactly he said a mistake is grabbing two percent milk instead of whole milk okay a mistake is not shooting someone instead of tasing them thank you well said what was the other woman who's doing like 10 years she actually shot the guy who she thought was in her apartment yes and, and the, the judge, judge hugged her we ain't giving no damn forget that hug no, shit black folks be so quick to forgive too i mean forgiveness is cool but that we fast? don't need to be hugging and she needed more than goddamn 10 years after that shoot that's so like annoying. yeah we forgive you but you're gonna pay this price period this man life is gone he was young he didn't even get a right. chance you, to do nothing you can still go inside your apartment at the end of the day well you know where he going to in his coffin yeah they they better give that man uh the george floyd killer Derry. Derry. they better give him Oh, they, they the already know. They already know what uh, it's going to be. Sentence or whatever. Because if they don't, they're going to turn this country Ooh. upside down. Ooh. And I'm going to be right out there with them. Who are you telling? I already got my boots ready. This shit going to be tall. <laughs> like, it's going to be worse. That, like that girl said, it's going to be worse than the LA riots in 92. And not in the, the riots in 92, the man was literally stopping like truck, white truck drivers. As they was driving, doing the riot. The black guys was literally taking, dragging these people out of their cars and beating the hell out. That's how, that's how angry they were. They was, they was talking to everybody. No, yeah, and then it's not to say because obviously all white people aren't you right. know, racist, but a lot of people who are just quiet, y'all got this privilege, like you told me, uh, it's a privilege to be protected by the police, yeah. right? Because we all don't have that. The police see us as threat, and they see y'all as a, a reward or something. Superior. Superior. Oh no. What? Let me see. Somebody shot up a high school. Oh lord. In East Austin, Texas. Multiple gunshot wounded victims being reported. Oh, oh, I'm but yeah, we don't want to have gun so control. Ghetto. We don't want to have gun this rights. This is a ghetto ass country. Like, everyone we are, gets a gun. You get a gun. Yeah, everybody gun. wants to move here. This is a. We ain't, we ain't damn near ain't no better than all the other ones. Shit. Yet, don't nobody want to do nothing about nothing. no gun control. Nothing about none. Protect our rights. We no. need our guns. No. For what? So you can go shoot another no, nigga? No, no, yeah, no. that's no. why you want your gun. I, I got to show you my ID, how old I am, and everything else to buy some cold medicine. But I can go down here across the street and go, oh, yeah, let me get that nine right quick. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Get out of here. I got to show my ID to, to get a pack, pack of, of cigarettes. cigarettes. You, you let me kill myself with cigarettes. But, but a gun is perfectly fine.